In this experiment, you'll study magnetic force, specifically how a bar magnet affects a moving beam of electrons. We can study the field of this bar magnet by using a compass. The red needle on this compass points in the direction of the magnetic field, which means it will also point toward the south pole of a bar magnet. An oscilloscope like this one uses a cathode ray tube to produce images on its screen. The electron beam begins at the back of the machine and then strikes the phosphorescent screen at the front, producing a glowing dot. We can see that the bar magnet's field exerts a force on these moving electrons. Take a moment to prove to yourself that the direction of this force obeys the right hand rule, and don't forget that electrons have a negative charge. We can also produce a magnetic field by running a voltage through a solenoid, or a coil of wire. The compass shows us that the magnetic field has the same shape as for the bar magnet. Notice the direction in which the coil is wound from the red and black terminals. When we connect the solenoid to a power supply, we can see that it has the same effect on the electron beam as the bar magnet. If we place the solenoid parallel to the electron beam, we can see that it exerts no force. Does this make sense to you in light of the right hand rule? Let's study what happens if we place the solenoid on its side but perpendicular to the electron beam. Can you explain this deflection using the right hand rule? 